If you're a service-based company or an online entrepreneur, you might be wondering why you need to think about packaging at all. And that's a fair question. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can incorporate luxury brand packaging ideas that elevate your service or online experience and keep customers coming back for more. Want more of the best branding and business advice specifically for female entrepreneurs? Subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified when I post each new video. I'm Mariah, luxury brand designer and strategist, and I help female entrepreneurs build exclusive high-end brands so they can show up with confidence, get booked with clients they love, and finally charge what they're worth. A couple of months ago, I shared this video, Luxury Packaging Design Basics, Tips from Louis Vuitton, and it's quickly become one of my most popular videos. So I thought I'd do a follow-up. Since I work exclusively with service providers and personal brands, I wanted to share how to incorporate luxury packaging into your small businesses as well. Why would service-based businesses even need packaging? Like I said, if you don't sell physical products, you've probably never even considered packaging design. But I'm here to tell you that you're missing out on a huge opportunity. In this video, I'm going to share how to use packaging in your business to help create a luxury experience for your clients and add incredible value to your services or digital products. The thing is, service-based businesses and online entrepreneurs like myself deal with the intangible. We're essentially selling our time and our expertise or digital representations of our time and expertise. For example, logo design, photography, ebooks, digital courses, etc. I know from experience how difficult it can be to price intangible offerings. In fact, that is one of the biggest challenges my clients face. The problem is most of us were conditioned to believe that physical items have a higher monetary value than the non-physical. In simpler terms, we value things more than we value our time. Now, I will very passionately argue the opposite, that our time is our most precious resource, but that's a discussion for another video. Back to the issue at hand, knowing that there can be a lower perceived value for intangible offerings, it's up to you, the entrepreneur, to create value for your services or digital products through high-end branding. One way to do this is to treat your offerings as actual products. If you can take the intangible, your service or your digital product, and bring it into the physical realm where clients can touch and experience it in a very real sense, you can effectively increase the value of your offerings, which means you can charge a lot more too. This idea might seem pretty abstract at the moment, so I'm gonna share three very real ways you can use a luxury brand packaging experience to elevate your services and digital products. Number one, luxury brand packaging for client gifts. While you might not sell physical products, many service-based entrepreneurs that I know, including myself, make client gifts a big part of their brand experience. In the wedding industry, for example, it's common for photographers and other vendors to present brides and grooms with welcome gifts after booking. In my business, I choose to send client holiday gifts instead, and it's one of my favorite parts of my client experience. If you want to know more about that, you can check out this video, Client Holiday Gift Ideas for Solopreneurs. Client gifts are a great way to incorporate a physical, tangible element into your brand experience. Remember when putting your client gifts together, your packaging can really set the tone. Be sure to select packaging that speaks to the luxury vibe of your brand. This means choosing high-end boxes, ribbons, papers, and more. You'll also want to choose packaging that is custom and on brand for your business. For example, choose pieces in your brand colors and use customization elements like foil stamping or embossing to add your logo. Number two, incorporate physical products into your service-based brand. One of the best ways to scale your business is to expand your offerings. There's this common belief that millionaires have at least seven different streams of income. 
While I'm sure that's not a hard and fast rule, it does make sense to have multiple income streams if you want to grow your business. This is especially true for service providers who can easily get stuck in this trap of trading hours for dollars. Your time is a limited resource. So if all you're offering is one-on-one -on -one services, your business model is not at all scalable. My branding clients are service providers and they love their clients. They love working one-on-one -on -one with their clients and I love supporting them in that goal. However, I also help them incorporate other revenue streams into their brands so they're not relying entirely on their time to make an income. I work with a lot of photographers, many of whom I've helped transition from shoot and burn where they're essentially just selling their time on a photo shoot and hand over a bunch of digital image files after to IPS photographers. IPS stands for in-person sales. Instead of selling their time, which remember consumers don't really value, IPS photographers sell physical products of prints, photographic wall art, and even digital files in a high-end sales session. Just consider the difference in the perceived value of the two following scenarios. First, a shoot and burn photographer shows up on the day of the shoot, edits several hundred digital files, and sends them to the client in an online gallery. Or second, an IPS photographer shoots the session, then meets with the client several weeks later to present a selection of the best 30 to 40 images and guides the client through the process of selecting high-end prints and custom wall displays, then delivers the products in luxurious on-brand packaging. In my own experience working with my photography clients, many of them go from making a few hundred dollars following that same shoot and burn scenario to making thousands of dollars per session as IPS photographers. The other fascinating thing is that by giving the client less images, the photographs actually have more value. This means the photographer ends up spending less time while making more money because they don't have to edit nearly as many images. Why does this happen? It's because their time shooting and editing and a digital product, image files, don't hold nearly the same perceived value as physical products presented in high-end packaging. Whether or not you want to incorporate physical products into your offerings, I'd love to know what you think about the seven revenue streams idea. Let me know in a comment down below. How many income streams do you currently have in your business? Number three, how to create luxury packaging for your digital products. For my online entrepreneurs and digital creators, you might be thinking this whole packaging thing just isn't for you. Maybe you've built your empire online and you're determined to keep it there. And I wanna tell you, you just need to rethink your definition of the term packaging. What are you currently including with your digital products? And how can you repackage those offerings to add value and make them more desirable? Essentially, packaging exists to add value to your offering, whether it's physical or not. So think about how you can enhance your digital products or services. Here are a couple of my favorite examples. I purchased a Photoshop template a few months ago and was pleasantly surprised to discover it included beautifully designed instructions as well as a complimentary video tutorial. These added features packaged together with the original offering definitely elevated the value and experience for me. I also recently bought a digital course where all the elements were beautifully designed and on brand. The course was packaged with a bunch of bonuses that were also on brand, including a detailed email series that walked you through the process of making the most out of the course. As you can see, you don't need to use physical packaging to elevate your brand experience. Having beautifully designed products, whether they're physical or digital, and including delightful surprises help take your brand from average to luxury. 
If your goal is to build a luxury brand that attracts your dream clients and helps you charge what you're worth, then you have to check out my free 20 page guide, The Brand Blueprint. You can download your copy with the link below. Want to learn more of my favorite luxury branding tips to help you run a successful business? Be sure to check out the video that just popped up. If you liked this video, hit that thumbs up below and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.